Hey, it's Zoe. Zoe Morosky. Don't adjust your whatever device you're hearing this on. It's me, live and in stereo, sort of. No return engagements, no encore, and this time, absolutely no requests. So get a snack, settle in, because I'm about to tell you 13 thoughts on the show, 13 reasons why. If you're listening to this, it probably means you've watched the show, or that you want to watch the show. You should know that what I'm about to say may have spoilers, so bear that in mind. The rules here are simple. There are only two. One, watch. And two, start a discussion. I want to know if you agree or disagree, or if you have any advice for people out there who could use your help. After all, there are 13 sides to every story. Hey guys, it's me Zoe, and I'm going to go through 13 thoughts on the show 13 Reasons Why. I was left with a lot of different emotions after the show finished for me, so I really wanted to get that all into a video. So let's start with thought one. My first thought for the show is when I first started it, I got like two episodes in, and I wasn't sure if I was going to finish 13 Reasons Why. The reason being because I was getting major Pretty Little Liar vibes. Pretty Little Liars was one of those shows I loved for the first couple of seasons. The plot just started getting too out of hand and it was too teenage angsty for me. I started to get very similar feelings with 13 Reasons Why. I actually posted a status on Facebook just to see what other people were thinking about the show and tons of people were like, keep watching it, just keep watching it, trust me. And I'm glad that I finished watching it because this show is nothing like Pretty Little Liars. There's definitely that whole mystery to it. But besides that, it's so much more. It has so many morals and just huge life lessons and 13 reasons why that I will get into in my next thoughts. My second thought is, I experienced and witnessed a lot of things in high school that were very similar to things portrayed in the show 13 Reasons Why. For instance, cyberbullying, um, false accusations, people making assumptions, clickiness, the whole nine yards. And that, of course, is displayed all throughout 13 Reasons Why. Which brings me to my third thought, and that is I feel like the show really accurately displayed high school. A lot of the catty situations in the show happen all the time in high schools, like for instance, the list that was made on who had the best body and who had the worst. Even though that may not happen in a note that's passed around, it happens between people through rumors that hurt people's feelings and bring people down. In high school, people are brought down all the time and other people are put on super high pedestals and it's the whole like there is like a huge hierarchy system in high school that's totally stupid another thing i thought was accurately displayed about high schools in the show was faculty and how they reacted to the students for instance the school counselor when i did go to the school counselor i never left enlightened or felt like i was ever truly helped like all my questions had regurgitated answers from them that I never received truly genuine and helpful advice. I went to two different high schools, one in Texas and one in Virginia, and I definitely felt the same way in both of those. A lot of teachers also don't have a genuine urge to help students. They're just there to teach and make sure that they're learning what they need to learn. Students also need to learn how life really is and they need to be helped and looked out for. Not all of them, I definitely had some amazing teachers in high school, but a lot of teachers and school faculty, especially across the US, have lost a passion for their students and are just going by a book. And that is sad because things like this that happen in the show happen all the time with a ton of young adults everywhere. This may not be a popular belief with a lot of people, but I don't feel like 13 Reasons Why glamorized suicide. And the reason why I say this is because what I picture when something glamorizes suicide, I picture something like Romeo and Juliet. And the whole story is glamorized into this crazy, amazing act of love that they just could not possibly live without each other. So they both took away their lives. And the story is read and told all across the world and people idolize Romeo and Juliet 
as this perfect love story because they did that. So that is glamorizing suicide. And 13 Reasons Why, Hannah Baker kills herself and gives reasons for it. And there are still people out there who A, do not agree with her reasons, and B, are not sympathetic with why she killed herself. But that also said, there are people like Clay who do sympathize with Hannah and who are not bent out of shape about the situation. The show shows both sides of the aftermath of a suicide and keep the emotions very realistic. So no, I don't think that's sh that the show glamorized suicide and I really appreciate that they didn't because they really did bring to the table a huge enlightenment towards the subject. I personally think that's why everyone needs to watch the show because of that. My fifth thought is, it doesn't matter if you don't understand. People I've talked to about the show don't understand Hannah's reasoning for killing herself. They don't think that her 13 reasons were enough to commit suicide. And I'm not gonna sit here and agree with her and think that her action was justified by her 13 reasons, but it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks here or in the show. Hannah Baker still committed suicide. You're never gonna truly know what somebody else is going through and what's going on inside of their head. And even if you do and you don't understand it, it really doesn't matter because that is how that person feels at that point in time. So my sixth thought is, I did not believe that Hannah Baker was actually going to be dead in the end of the show. I definitely thought somehow in the end she was going to pop out alive and be sort of like, I told you so, I told you all, this is why you need to look out for other people. That's why the show hit me so hard because she did end up dying in the end. And it ironically just brought to life all of the morals and the lessons that the show teaches. So thought seven is, there were a lot of scenes in the show that made those morals come to life. It may be different for everyone, but for me, it was Hannah's suicide scene and Hannah's rape scene. Those were both so raw and uncomfortable. I could not keep eye contact with the TV while those were happening. It was very difficult for me to watch. And I think they were so uncomfortable because it was just so realistic. Kudos to the actor who played Hannah Baker because she did a great job with those scenes. I'm sure they were very uncomfortable as well to film. During Hannah's rape scene, they kept the camera on her longer than was necessary to really draw out and bring to life how uncomfortable that situation is and how horrifying it is. I've got to tell them that worked. It really, really worked. And I'm glad that they went about those scenes that way because if they hadn't, I don't think the show would have had as much impact. My eighth thought is, I love Clay. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you're supposed to love Clay. I know tons of people got annoyed with the show that he took forever to finish the tapes, but I liked that he took his time with the tapes because I feel like all the other characters who had finished the tapes in one sitting did not give themselves a chance to get inside of Hannah's head. But the reason why I love Clay is because he fought for what was right the entire show. He played as the conscience for everyone's mind in the show. He stood up for what was right and he did not stay silent which is super super important so now for my next couple of thoughts I'm going to get into a couple of morals and life lessons that I picked up throughout the show and that make up the reason why you should watch 13 reasons why thought 10 is always be the bigger person be a clay we need more clays in the world we need more people standing up for what is right if you see a situation that's wrong speak your mind and act out because everyone deserves a chance. Everyone deserves an opportunity, you and everybody else. And that goes along with saying my next thought 11, always help people. If you see someone who is struggling, ask them if they're okay. Help somebody because like I said before, you have no idea what that person's going through. Even if it's something small, it can help somebody out tremendously and I cannot ever say that enough. My next thought is be more open with your parents. I know that may seem cringy and like the last thing you want to do. I've always had a very open relationship with them. And I know that may be hard for some of you, but if you can at least try, it is very important and it does help a lot with you and your parents. Your parents should want to help you, so if you're open with them, they can help you a lot. If there's something going on with you, if there's something going on with somebody else that you may know, just be open with them. Because honestly, I don't know where I would be in life if I didn't have the relationship I did with my parents. My second to final thought on 13 Reasons Why is suicide should never, ever be an option. If you have even a, a glimmer of 
an idea to commit suicide, just know that it shouldn't be an option for you. It shouldn't be an option for anybody. For Hannah Baker, she was in high school, and everything that happens in high school feels like it's the end of the world. When you're in high school, it, it's what you invest a lot of your energy into. It's where you're at more than you are when you're at home. So to Hannah, suicide did seem like an option for her because her life felt over. Just know if you're feeling awful, if you're feeling suicidal in this moment, this feeling will pass. This feeling will subside. You will feel so many more things in your life. You'll experience so many different things. And my last and final thought for 13 Reasons Why and for you is there are outlets. If you are feeling a certain way or if you know somebody that is, there are tons of outlets and people you can talk to, especially if you don't have anyone close to you in your life. I will list some links below if you're interested in checking anything out for yourself or for somebody else. So those are my 13 thoughts for 13 Reasons Why. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts were on the show, if you have any advice for people out there, or if you agree with anything that I've said.